get ready. Portaventura World has a surprising amount of hotels in comparison to the size of the resort, boasting six in total. These Portaventura hotels are all of a fairly similar quality except for one, and you're likely to find similar prices and amenities across them all. In this video, however, we want to break down the differences between the hotels and help you figure out which one will suit you best for your next trip. Before we start, we'd like to just give you a quick reminder to hit the like button on this video and subscribe if you enjoy our content as it really helps us reach a bigger audience. Get ready. An overview of the hotels. Before drawing comparisons, here's a quick overview of the hotels, their general location, amenities, price and other distinctive features. While we won't dive into specifics in each hotel, all hotels are designed for families and are very child friendly. Any pool has a children's area and cots are available in every hotel. It's worth noting that all hotels include unlimited access to Portaventura Park during your stay, as well as one day in Ferrari Land. There's also quite a lot of range within each hotel. All hotels have an affordable option with some offering suites and exclusive clubs if you want to splurge. It's probably best to discuss Hotel Mansion de Lucy first as it's the real outlier in terms of Portaventura hotels. It's a five star resort while all the other hotels are four star. Naturally, it's the most elite level hotel you can stay at in Portaventura. Themed to a Victorian mansion, rooms range from 295 to 410 euro per night. And interestingly, you get unlimited access to both parks for your full stay. All other hotels only offer one day in Ferrari Land. It's about a five minute walk to the park and has a specific hotel entrance in the far west area of Portaventura. It's close to Hotel Gold River and Hotel Colorado Creek, which all share this exclusive hotel entrance to the park. It has just one restaurant called Lucy's Cuisine as well as a bar. Hotel Colorado Creek follows a wilderness theme. In Portaventura's newest hotel, there are three room types ranging from 135 to 254 euro, and it has an outdoor pool. It has two snack bars called Colorado Lounge Bar and Lake Bar, as well as a buffet called Creek View Buffet. It's located just behind Hotel Mansion de Lucy and about seven minutes walking to the exclusive hotel entrance to Portaventura Park. The last hotel in this far west cluster is Hotel Gold River. This is by far the largest of the Portaventura hotels in this area and is located closest to the park entrance, just three to five minutes walking depending on where in the hotel you're located. The hotel is broken into multiple buildings which form a western town. It has two pools, two snack bars called Gold River Saloon and The Lobby Bar, and two table service restaurants called Grand Opera and River Bar. It also has a buffet called Grand Hall Buffet. Similar to Hotel Colorado Creek, it also has three room types ranging from 135 to 254 euro per night. Moving over now to the traditional park entrance to Portaventura, Hotel El Paso is just five minutes walking to the entrance of the park. It's also closer to Ferrari Land than the three previous mentioned hotels, which could be important to some guests. It has just two room types which start from 130 and 190 euro respectively. It has a pool and cold water jacuzzi and three designated bars called Bar Maya, El Labyrinto and La Bahia. It also has a snack bar called Club Maya. It has one table service restaurant called El Coyote and a buffet called Merida. Guests who have visited Portaventura by train will recognize this one as it's located along the path from the train station to the parks. You might be inclined to think Hotel Caribe is located near Caribe Aquatic Park, Portaventura's water park. But don't be fooled, it's actually further away from the water park than any other hotel. It's also further away from the parks, with about 11 minutes walking to the main entrance. Hotel Caribe is broken into 14 separate buildings, each one representing a different Caribbean island. It features two pools, one of which is a white sand pool, and it has two bars called El Tinglado and Mango Bongo, as well as a snack bar called Salsa Cafe. It has three table service restaurants called Porto Veo, La Piazza, and La Bodeguita del Medio, and also a buffet called Buffet Bojo. This hotel also has an exclusive club called Club San Juan, and this offers access to a gym, sauna, heated indoor pool, and an exclusive restaurant. Club San Juan rooms start from 210 euro per night, while standard rooms start from just 130 euro per night. Last but not least is Hotel Portaventura, the resort's flagship hotel. This is the closest of all the Portaventura hotels, located right between Portaventura Park and Ferrari Land. 
There are three room types which range from 130 to 275 euro per night. It has two big pools and two table service restaurants called El Siringuito and Port Regatta. It also has a buffet called Buffet del Port. It's the only hotel with a gym for all guests too. While location is this hotel's biggest strength, it's so large that you can still be a few minutes walking to the park if you're located at the far end of the hotel. Amenities As you can see, the amenities across all of the hotels are pretty great. You won't have any trouble finding a pool and a place to sunbathe in any of the above, and they're all littered with bars and restaurants too. Interestingly, only Hotel Portaventura has gym facilities. Club San Juan rooms in Hotel Caribe offer gym facilities too, but this of course comes at a higher price. If gym and pool facilities are important to you, Hotel Portaventura is probably the best hotel for you. However, if bar and restaurant options are more important to you, Hotel El Paso and Hotel Caribe have a wide array of options. Hotel Caribe has the best amenities on offer, but its location is quite a drawback. If you're looking for a more high-end exclusive experience, Hotel Mansion de Lucy can offer this, but it comes at almost twice the price of all other hotels. Aside from these distinctions, you'll find very good amenities in every single hotel. Location In our opinion, Hotel Portaventura can't really be beaten for location. Hotel El Paso and Hotel Gold River are also very well located in relation to the parks, with Hotel El Paso being closer to Caribe Aquatic Park and Ferrari Land. But of course, if you're looking for a quieter spot further from the parks, Hotel Caribe and Hotel Colorado Creek can offer this. Overall, all of the Portaventura hotels are in fairly close proximity to the parks, so you won't have too many problems regardless of where you choose to stay. We would say that with Hotel Gold River, Hotel Mansion de Lucy, and Hotel Colorado Creek all sharing an exclusive hotel entrance, you can avoid bigger crowds when getting into the main park in the morning. So this could be quite important in terms of location too. Overall value. We love that almost all of the Portaventura hotels offer affordable options so that you can choose whatever hotel you like when staying in Portaventura, regardless of your budget, with the exception of Hotel Mansion de Lucy. This means that value really heavily relies on amenities, location and theming. Firstly, if there's a specific theme you like, that's probably the best hotel for you because no matter what you choose, you'll be within walking distance of the parks and will have a pool and some dining options. Your park tickets are worked into your package, making the hotel options very affordable. It's worth exploring these options over staying in an external accommodation, as it might work out cheaper to stay in the resort. For us, we'd have to say that Hotel El Paso probably offers the best overall value in the resort. It's just five minutes away from the main entrance to both parks and the water park, and has a wide selection of bars and restaurants, as well as a pool and cold water jacuzzi. If location is important to you, you can go for Hotel Portaventura and be just two minutes from the park, but you will give up the range of dining and drinking options. We think Hotel Gold River also offers really good value with a great location, an exclusive entrance and an array of dining and drinking options. The only drawback is its distance to Ferrari Land and Caribe Aquatic Park. If you're not too fussy about where you want to stay, Portaventura offers a package option called Hotel Roulette. This means you'll pay a standard rate and Portaventura will choose which hotel to put you in. The surprise of that can be fun, but you're at the mercy of the resort and you can be put somewhere that doesn't really suit your needs. So we'd advise you to do your research, which you've done if you're watching this, find which hotel is best for your needs and make an informed decision to have the best holiday possible. If you enjoyed this video, check out our video of best quick service restaurants in Portaventura on screen now. We actually have a bunch of Portaventura content on our channel, so be sure to check it all out. That concludes our thoughts on which Portaventura hotels offer the best value. Do you agree with our pick? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. And now you're ready.